of the royal wedding. Angela Paul, our royal analyst and author of The Beauty of Aging is here and Candace Bucket, beauty expert and owner of Diesel Salon is also with us this morning. First of all, let's talk about the biggest thing ever, the dress. First impressions, what did you all think of, of this dress when she first got out of the car? I mean, for me it was just pure elegance, simplicity, elegance, modern, fresh, and I thought it suited her perfectly. It really did. It fits yes. so nicely. Candace, what did you think of it? Were you expecting that? I was ex expecting something really mm. simple, and I was shocked to go with a full long sleeve, but it's really, it really fits her and how she dresses and how simple of a woman she is, and I just think it really complimented her really well. Yeah, it definitely did. I, one thing that kind of surprised me, though, I thought that her veil would be a super long cathedral link veil. I thought if there's ever a time to wear a cathedral link veil, that's the time, and she didn't do it. That's interesting because earlier on we were talking about this because when Princess Diana got married, she had a train that was, we said, a, you know, the length of a double-decker bus or longer. Right. So we expected something not quite that long, but not maybe not as short as this one was. But, you know, in retrospect, I think it fit perfectly with the dress. And obviously we're looking at uh, the comparison pictures right there. It's really interesting to when you, when you put them side by side like that. Obviously Diana's dress was very flowy and, and really definitely signified the times. You it know, was very it? 80s and so it was very pu puffy and, you know, fantasy and everybody's dream dress at that time. Kate's, Catherine's dress, on the other hand, is very reminiscent of a, a simpler, you know, 1940s look, almost kind of Grace Kelly to me. Absolutely. And a big talker was how she was going to wear her hair, Candace. And you know, owning a, a hair salon, is, that's a big, huge it part is. of the entire look. I thought it, uh, her half-up, half-down look really complimented the dress, especially with that diamond tiara. It was a Cartier tiara that was on loan right. from the Queen. It was. And I was, you know, I was really shocked that, you know that everyone thought she was going to go with a really modern, you know, coiffure. Like, it was just so shocking to me that, that they thought she'd do something really out of the ordinary because yeah. I really imagined that she would do something really simple. Yeah. It, you know, it looked, the whole, overall, it was a really nice, cohesive look. It looked great. It didn't take away from the dress, but it is hard, you know, but she had a whole team of salon dedicated to her and the bridesmaids to look great all day long. Whereas a dress for an everyday woman, you know, to have that high color of a dress, it snags on your hair. Sure. You can see a couple pieces, but to have it curled throughout the day, and yeah. but it looked so great. It was it was a great look overall. But I thought it was really interesting. Her one of her main hairdressers said, "When you get to the end of that aisle, your husband, your groom, should be able to at least recognize you." And I thought that was really good advice. On you know, your wedding day, you don't want to have a completely different look. Yes, you want to look like a better version of you. Well, I thought it really worked because it was the half up, half down, so it sure. showed the lovely features, and yet she had managed to have the femininity of it hanging down below her shoulders. Yeah. So I thought it was a lovely balance. Absolutely. And her makeup was nice and dewy and fresh. And, and speaking of her makeup, that was a, a big talker, the fact that she wanted to do her own makeup. She did not want to have you know, fancy makeup artists flown in and at her beck and call. Well, she's so, known for that. Yeah. You know, she, she's not one to do like a lot of massages and facials. She likes to do her own hair and makeup. Right. Even when she did the, you know, the shoot for the um, engagement pictures with Mario Testino, the very famous photographer, he wanted to bring in his team of very high-end, you know, um, uh, makeup and hair people. She said, no, I'd rather do my own. She I think said, that's I'm not having it. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that people really love about her. Yeah. Is that she's very down to earth, very into basics, and she shops at the local TK Maxx, which we know as TJ Maxx here. <laughs> right. And I think that makes her very endearing to the public. Absolutely. Candace, what did you think of her makeup look? I looked, I, I thought she looked really, really beautiful. It's, it's simple. She had a nice dewy look overall on her face, simple lipstick. You know, it, it all looked overall, it looked great. Um, I really liked that she had the light brown kind of smoky on the side just to kind of really give the eye some pop but you know what I tell brides and um, when they come in for a consultation sometimes they come in with these elaborate pictures and I'm like how do you feel the most beautiful and that's what you want to do on your wedding days is, is be comfortable and feel the most beautiful and have your you know like I, I think they said that Prince William said 
oh, you look beautiful when she walked down yeah. the altar, and that's what you want. You want that response, not, wow, you have way too much makeup on. <laughs> right. You know, or, so wow, who are you? Yeah. Right. What did yeah. you do with my fiancé? Right. Right. And it's going to melt anyway during the course of the day, so right. Right. the more natural, the better. It'll be interesting to see her after the final party, the one with the disco balls and the dancing. I, I wonder if they'll put some pictures out of that. I of hope that. they do, because I think that's when they're really going to let, you know, themselves go and have a really good time. Right. And, you know, Prince, She'll change into like a cute little I'm sure. Party and Prince dress. Harry, I think, is arranging all of that, and he's known for, you know, giving a good party. Having a good so, time. So um, I think we can expect lots of fun pictures. Her jewelry was also um, very minimal, I thought. You know, there wasn't a big necklace or big, huge cuffs or anything like that. She did have some earrings on that were apparently a gift um, for her, from her parents, yeah. which I thought was really, They really said sweet. they were a small little uh, tea leaf on them, so yeah, so I guess, you know, and then she had a little piece of uh, blue ribbon sewn into it, so she had something blue on, something bar. Sewn into the dress? Right, sewn oh, into the dress, that. just to have a tad bit of blue. Yeah. Somewhere underneath or in there, there is a little bit of blue. Now, were you all up Watching it live, yeah. both of you? No, I was here doing you, it live. You were here, okay. <laughs> I was wow. with Raul. <laughs> uh, there he is. <laughs> I was channel surfing. <laughs> so we were here all night from 2 o'clock in the wow. morning. And, uh, and you look amazing for that. I got up, I got up and turned it on 10 minutes before she walked down the aisle. And then I watched about a half an hour of it, and then I fell asleep. So, but I was watching it live because I wanted that wow factor. Yes, for we it had the wow life. factor watching it here. Yeah, everybody gasped, probably, huh? Yes, when she came out of the, the car, and then again when you know the balcony scene with the kiss again. That was the moment when everybody. Went, <sighs> now, what do you all think? You think everybody's going to be now trying to uh, get a knockoff of this? Dress oh, absolutely! And this look? It'll be in the stores yeah. in a couple of days. Yeah. Yes. They said after Princess Diana's wedding, five hours later, yes. there was there were already knockoffs being offered. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's talk really quickly about her maid of honor, Pippa, her sister. Thoughts on uh, <laughs> Raul? Raul clearly liked her look. Um, yes, he did. <laughs> he mentioned that several times throughout our. Um, <laughs> I think what was interesting about the look for Pippa, or Philippa as she's known, is that the dress was very form-fitting and had a slight cle you know, low cleavage, which is pretty unusual for a royal wedding. Sure. And also the fact that it was white was interesting. Right. But again, it's just very modern and very sleek, and I think that is um, very much in line with um, you know, Catherine's style. I and thought I thought it was, it was very classy, actually. Yeah, I loved it, too. I thought it was interesting, too, that she wore, wore white, especially in America. That's like, yes, if somebody wore white, that would be, you know, drama. But she looked fantastic. And it looks like a dress to me that you could definitely wear again. I know oh, they say that about every price. But this dress. one, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's absolutely. And she's so thin, and it's just nice and form-fitting. And same with her. You know, the hair, they're, even their hairstyle is quite, sa you know, the same, too. Absolutely. And then, okay, let's talk about um, her mother, Carol. She looked lovely. And her, her look was one that was definitely definitely talked about leading up to it um, and her hat was really pretty as well of yes. course everybody has to have these big hats Candace what did you think of her look well you know and one of um, the covering that I was watching was that they said that they, they asked for them to wear hats oh. and so they were shocked that someone showed up I don't know the woman's name but she showed up without a hat is that oh. right so that is oh. why everyone had hats on and I thought everyone's hats were beautiful and, and it's just such a fun party to have all those great hats um, I, I know someone mentioned on Facebook they didn't like it, but I think they're so fun. And, you know, it's not something they're going to wear every day. And that's one of Sarah Ferguson's <laughs> daughters right there wearing that sort of pinky. That, that, very, that, that was strange. <laughs> that was the only one I, was, I had a little uh, um, strange reaction yeah, yeah. to. But then again, she's young and it's unique, so why not? I think she's the same, uh, the same cousin that wore the one with the big butterflies coming ah. out of it. So I think she likes that sort of that different um, look. And, of course, we've got William's uniform. Who really cares about William's uniform? Really? <laughs> I really. mean, everyone's looking at her, but he did look very, very he nice. He looked very he handsome. Military. Very, very handsome. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, ladies, so much for thank breaking you. it down. Oh. for us and thank you for being here bright and early <laughs> bless your heart round of applause to you and for more fashion and beauty tips from angela and candace simply go to our website and click on that scene on tab raul how are you holding up over there friend i'm just fine yeah